all started with a fishing trip up to Alaska a few years back and eventually my, my brother ended up coming out there as well that summer and then we worked with a friend of the family up in Alaska and I spent four summers there my brother spent three summers there after that we thought we might look into to something a little bit closer to home as far as a, a location so it seemed like the Black Hills was the perfect place to be but yeah it all started with working with a friend of the family up in Alaska I mean we're very excited to be here we think it's gonna be a great opportunity to get in front of more people I'm pretty excited about it so my brother and I we originally started carving in Alaska but we used to fly home uh, from Alaska to carve at the Sturgis bike rally and um, we had an opportunity to open a shop down in Keystone and then so we did that and then we went from there to Hill City and then opened up a couple other shops but yeah it originally started with Mount Rushmore and then the Sturgis bike rally actually that's how we ended up out here. I was actually helping a friend with a store inside of the mall. We threw around a couple different ideas as far as uh, maybe having another location either in the mall or somewhere close to the mall or outside of the mall and in this building right here. It seemed like a perfect opportunity so we thought we might as well give it a shot and see what happens. It's a fairly good sized piece of property here so we're going to utilize it as much as we can as far as having demos or carving large sculptures here. We feel like that's a pretty big part of it too. You know, it just kind of adds to the atmosphere as far as having different artists here carving and, and creating art. Between my brother and I and then we have multiple different apprentices that we work with kind of throughout the year. In the summertime generally we work with quite a few more. In the winter time we still have a few around but um, it's generally not quite as busy as the summer. We're hoping that this new location might change that. What I enjoy most of when it comes to the chainsaw carving is the ability to create all sorts of different size sculptures fairly quickly I guess so with the, with the ability or the option to use a chainsaw opposed to some of these other tools um, you're, you're able to remove wood or ice or snow very very quickly so it's uh, that's something that definitely excites me as far as the art form goes. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of limitless when it comes to different things you can do with wood or snow or ice or bronze sculptures and clay. The main block out is used with a chainsaw and then even a lot of the small detail we end up using with a chainsaw, but for the really, really fine details, we use die grinders, angle grinders, some smaller Dremel tools. I even have buddies that use hand chisels for, for certain details, but it's, I would say 99% chainsaw, all depending on the piece that you're working on.